My name's Dave Donahue. This is my book restoration business. I've been here now close to 18 years uh, doing book restorations. We do a wide variety of books. We do a lot of family Bibles. Sometimes simple books that you know can be replaced fairly easy. People want that connection. They want that treasure. It's a pretty rewarding business. It's, it's very artistic. It's very technical at times. It's a combination of chemistry, of hand skills, of, of knowledge of certain materials, conservation methods. Most people don't realize that you can restore a book or that there are people like, like me and Dominique and, and Matilda who do this work. I look at every book as an art piece and so when I finish a book and it looks seamless and it looks like it either did when it was first created, it's like a finished painting to me. Like it's just that feeling of this is seamless, this is beautiful, this is exactly the way it's supposed to be. The book world knows that books were meant to be used. Most collectors view that book not just as a book, but as an artifact. You're putting it back in a condition where it's going to be stable and where it can be used. All books have two critical parts, the inside hinge and there is the outer cover. Once one or both of those break, the book starts to fall apart. Not every book is worth fixing. So it's important for us to make sure that there's a reason why they want to have that book restored. And most times it's because it's a special book. Uh, I've had a woman come in, I restored maybe 15 of her father's books because they had her father's signature in them. Sometimes the repairs are fairly simple. Most times we have to take the book apart, perhaps sew it back together. And sometimes the repairs are really extensive, particularly with family Bibles. You know, uh, you have to replace leather, you have to repair pages, you have to replace end papers. There's a lot that goes into that. The most interesting things we've had come in the shop in the last couple of years was a whaling journal. Somebody had pasted newsprint from the like the 1870s and the 80s onto every page it took about four to five hours per page to remove the newsprint on each page and all of a sudden i peeled one piece off and there there was this drawing of a whale which is what the whaling captains used to do when they would capture a whale they would draw the picture of the whale and, and note the tonnage underneath of it but it's pretty exciting to be able to restore something that has a lot of historical significance to a portion of this country and know that it's the only one of its kind. And it, if we hadn't done that work, it, it probably would have been lost forever. Books are probably one of the near perfect inventions of all time. They basically have remained unchanged for four or 500 years so I think for a lot of people, that tactile feel, that comfort feel that they get from books is important. Every job we do, we are either preserving knowledge or a memory. You know at the end of the day when you go home that the work you did, because of what you did, could be, still be here three, four, five hundred years from now. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.